Okay, Sonny. So we have uh, three fire trucks here today in Strathmore, Alberta, 50 kilometers southeast of Calgary, Alberta. And uh, showing you all the three trucks as we zoom in. Okay, thank you. So, you know, it's, uh, it's July 28, 2010. And uh, I'm sitting here with the, uh, the Strathmore Town Fire Department who have generously offered their time to uh, come out and support us with a, uh, an escort out of Strathmore out here. So uh, yeah, we'd just like to uh, thank you guys so much. This is a really great honor and thank you for what you do. Thank you for supporting muscular dystrophy the way you do. And, uh, and I believe you guys have a calendar also, don't you? Uh, with the fire within, yeah, yeah. So do we. So, <laughs> so we've got three trucks with us today and uh, this is just so special, you know? So can we get, uh, on the count of three, can we just get a freedom? As this is the marathon of freedom. Sure. Yeah? Sure. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Freedom! That's it. Thank you. Thank you. We have the sirens going today and three trucks and the whole fire department pretty much out here in Strathport and you know I'm always so touched sometimes to experience the goodness of people's heart and just the fun you know in in that goodness so I'm sending out my own personal thank you just pulled over on the side of the road here briefly for a, you know, a rest stop, a bite to eat, and a piss. And, uh, you know, back up the road, 20 kilometers or so, was, uh, I don't know, just an example of, you know, good, good, the goodwill of people, and especially, um, especially our firefighters uh, uh, in Strathmore here. And I don't know, but uh, that was just so amazing. It was uh, touching. With every siren, woo, you know, it was just—it was bringing a tear to my eye. I just felt that those were, yeah, just those were the the sounds of of love in the moment, you know. And as uh, sort of, I don't know, as uh, alert as they make people, you know, the, the firefighters are coming through. People were looking. People were honking their horns. People were like putting their hands out the window and clapping. You know, it was it was amazing. And I'm truly touched, and I, I know Twilight is too, so... And then, of course, we had uh, our friend Leah, who came, or... She, she was uh, pulled off the side of the road and made a donation. There was a love donation, a hug, some, some blueberries, and, uh, and a nice, beautiful card. So, we're just so very grateful, and... Um, so, we're gonna finish up here, and it's on to Bassano. See you there. So I'm pushing along here on the number one towards Bassano, Alberta. It's a hot day, really hot day. Hotter than the mountains, that's for sure. We experienced rain almost every day throughout the mountains. This is a different story altogether. This is something else. Have to, uh, I just stop a couple times, you know, to break, take some water, 
breathe, stretch, etc. There's that part of me, part of my heart that's just going, it's so connected to the destination of this. And there's another part, there's another part of my heart that's it's totally detached from the destination and it's all about just the journey itself. Sometimes my mind wants to stop me. Sometimes my hands want to stop me. Sometimes this heat is pretty, pretty scorching out here. But you know, there's something that, something I read about Terry Fox that I'm using now. is a, a strategy of persistence. Whenever he felt like quitting, he would just keep running. Running to the next telephone pole. And you know something all along this highway here. There's these little posts. That I'll just continue pushing to the next one.